Hey, good morning. In Psalm 138, verses 7 and 8 say, Though I am surrounded by troubles, you will protect me from the anger of my enemies. You reach out your hand, and the power of your right hand saves me. The Lord will work out his plans for my life. For your faithful love, O Lord, endures forever. Don't abandon me, for you have made me. You know, my goal with my daily Bible reading, when I read my Bible each day, is not just to check the box saying that I've read Scripture, but to listen for the voice of God through His Word. That's what I aim for each day, and that's what these chairside chats produce. I'm sharing with you what the Lord has spoken to me as kind of a, a primer, an inspiration for you to do the same because the Lord will use his word to speak to you in a way that may be different than he speaks to me. So today, the Lord used two phrases from these verses to speak to me. First, though I am surrounded by troubles, you will protect me. That phrase from verse 7. Though I am aware of some of the troubles that surround me, some of the dangers or, uh, I guess, problems, I'm unaware of many others. Now, I'm aware of aggressive drivers out there that could cut me off in traffic. And so I do try to drive a little more defensively. Um, I'm aware of COVID exposure out there. Well, I mean, in here, I guess, right now. And, um, you know, that I can get sick. I'm aware of that. I'm aware of inclement weather where we get four inches of rain from a rainstorm the other day or lightning storms or, you know, some dangerous weather. I'm aware of things like that. I'm unaware of the times that the drunk driver has been driving in the lane opposite me, coming at me, that the Lord steered him around me. I'm unaware of that. I don't know if that's ever happened. I'm unaware of the armed robber who held up the convenience store I just left. I'm unaware of the cyber attack could have just drained my savings that was thwarted. I may never know on this side of heaven the number of times the Lord has saved me from harm. The second phrase that spoke to me today was, the Lord will work out his plans for my life. You know, if I have plans with someone, it usually means that, A, I know him or her personally, and B, that I want to do something with him. Having plans implies a personal connection that goes beyond normal interactions with others we don't know as well. God says through Jeremiah, I know the plans I have for you. And the psalmist confirms that by saying the Lord will work out his plans for my life. Which tells me that the Lord knows me personally and desires to spend time with me. Pray with me. Lord, I thank you for your word. Thank you for scripture, which you use to speak to my heart each day. Lord, may our, our daily reading of your word not just be a time to check the box and say, we've done our reading. But Lord, use it as a time to speak to us personally, individually to share your heart 
with our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends. Hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow.